Hello Fox, how's it going everybody? So in this one, uh, we will take uh, one step further and we'll make a sales dashboard. Uh, so this is a part two of our uh, project. So without wasting our time, let's get back into our project on my screen. Three, two, one, go. So here, uh, so what we'll do, now we have to make a dashboard and in that we have to include three chart which compare uh, data of 2018 2019 by collection by brand and by gender so what we what first what i will do i will just transfer this pivot table that we had in our previous uh, part into the other sh sheet okay so just move or copy and why i'm doing this thing i'm gonna explain this thing a little bit later okay so move to and create copy and just one more time <clears throat> copy move to and create copy yeah now before uh, we do anything for for this this one what we'll do uh, we will just remove this percentage change things but we because we don't want so what we're gonna do we'll select on percentage change pure table analyze then field item calculated item and we will select percentage change and then just like from here not there yeah percentage change and delete this one and okay so it should gone in three of the table yeah now it's gone <clears throat> now what we're gonna do we will we want the real data for this one so we will exclude um how would I say we will exclude the indicator uh, we will exclude the back order we will exclude uh, so yeah we will exclude the back order from from from, from this uh, from this chart so what you're gonna do so back order we will just put it in the filter here as well I could have been done this thing before but uh, I forgot um, back order indicator and now first we want a comparison of sales between 2018 and 2019 by uh, collection right so we will go for collection here and instead of article number we put collection and in back order indicator we just want not back order right this way now what we're gonna make we're gonna make one chart we will go to the pure table analyze and pure table analyze there is one option is pure chart so here i like this one so i put this one here i mean you can select other option and we will disappear this whole thing like year and collection and because we want this thing in our so hide all fill button on chart and you can put a title here if you want by selecting chart title and you can say that it's uh, gross margin by by collection okay so this is this one is one now for other one we'll do the same thing we will select not back order and instead of article number we want season now and we will use Pivot table analyze, pivot chart here. On this one, the same thing. Remove the hide all field button. Just do the chart title here. And we'll say that GM by uh, season. Right? Now, this one will do the same thing but instead of article number now we want a uh, gender 
So, it, so what we're going to do, it like, it's compare uh, the sales of uh, 2018 and 2019, like in each month. So we will select the pivot chart here, like this way. We'll disappear everything from by hide all fill button, just put the chart title. Then we can just put here um, GM by gender, right? Now we will copy this three chart in another um, shit. So you can just control V. So GM, sorry, there is a spelling mistake here. Okay, now this one as well, control C, control V, this one as well, control C, no, uh, sorry, gender one, right? Control C, control V, right? And we'll just rename this one dash bar, just to avoid the confusion, right? Now we will just organize this thing a little bit. For time being, we don't want this field right now. So we just remove this one from here. Now we will just adjust a size a little bit. Actually, I'm really bad at the formatting things like, uh, you know, just putting some add colors and all. So I'm doing my best here just to make a nice looking dashboard. But um, like in, in actual world, like nobody care about how beautiful is your dashboard. It's they all care about like how simplified, how you simplify your data by using dashboard, right? So yeah, now we want a slicer. Slicer means uh, we want slicer by month. Suppose say if I select first month, then the data should change according to that. So we will compare the 2018, 2019 data of January month, uh, business land like collection gender and by season right so what i'm saying it doesn't make sense right now but i'm gonna show you how so we're gonna just click here pivot chart analyze and then we insert a slicer and we can use a lot of slicer but we just want to use right now month so we will just remove So now what you're gonna do here we'll just select one month and by selecting two three like this way as you can see that it's changing just first graph right not the other graph like this one as well so what you're gonna do we we'll select on here uh, sorry on click left on your mouse and then we use the report connection and then we select these three of these. Now you can see that it should change with your, this is, so as you can see here, like it's changing, right? This one is also changing. This one is also changing. So all three are changing with your filter. So it's perfectly working perfectly fine, right? So if you want, you can format this one a little bit. Um, just insert some row here. And you can just say, um, Cells dash board and just put like <laughs> this way, like I mean, bold. You can increase the color size. I mean, 
uh, sorry a letter size and now we just change the background a little bit just till here If you want you can change a chart color like from by using this this lot of collection from here like i like this one so i'm going to use this one for this one it seems no not this one yeah, it looks correct this one yeah don't want data labels right so we just remove the data labels from here now for this one as well we just go chart style and we can just select a different color if you want uh, what about this one yeah it looks fine this one um, yeah this looks fine where is our title because we put the black color all around And we can put a different color if we want. Like this way. So it looks like fine to me. Uh, we can also change a format of uh, this um, this slicer. Um, so we just go, we can go here, like, uh, sorry, in slicer setting here, we can just uh, select Like from here, slicer setting. Sorry, not this one as well. Yeah, sorry, new slicer style. We'll select whole slicer uh, format. Um, you can just uh, use like color that you want here. Okay. Now you can see our custom slicer here, this one. Now we want to change a header. <coughs> So what you're gonna do here, we just select here, modify, um, then go to the header, format, just put some color like black, like this way. Yeah, so it's saying that um, it's our, our, our title is disappeared because uh, we put the black color right so what we're gonna do here and this is like it's up to you i mean how wanna how you wanna i i, I don't want to waste the time on this one because it's up to you i mean how you want to change uh, uh, the format so font go to the font color and select the white color bold and it should work now yeah as you can see so and you can select this one as well i mean you can change the setting of this one as well but as i mentioned it's up to you like how you want to select go to the slicer again left click modify selected item with data um, and just you can just put the border if you want and fill same font color like So like this way you can change like month and all and I don't know it looks great or not but uh, I know it looks like not that at that level but yeah this is it uh, for the sales dashboard and um, now for the step what you can do here is that you can present uh, this thing like you can uh, put this thing on your um, GitHub account. 
So as you can see on my computer screen right now, uh, after uploading your project on GitHub, uh, you can find the section like read me. And in this section, you can write about your findings, uh, well, finding in the sense like what do you find in your, this project? Like uh, maybe you can write, hey, uh, uh, people tend to buy more, uh, uh, more summer based product in month of January or February, whatever you find in your project and just write it like good so that they can capture the eyes of uh, your hiring managers so yeah uh, that's it for this video and if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and see you soon in the next video till then bye bye